What is going on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, go ahead down below, subscribe. If you're on a phone or tablet or something, you can literally just swipe up, press subscribe, and that's that. If you're on a computer, there's a card down here or whatever, down here I'm pretty sure. Yeah, down here. You can go ahead and click on that, hover your mouse over it, it'll pop out a subscribe button. You can click on that, support the channel, that would be great. And so an hour ago for me right now, my reacting to old videos part two dropped and it's got four views now. And Honestly, I was kind of hoping it would do a little bit better because recently my past few lyrics videos has been getting a lot of support, but I'm assuming you guys just enjoy the lyrics a little bit more. Now, the only like small bit of confusion I'm still in is if you scroll down to about two years ago, you have God's Plan, which got oh, 350,000 views. We also have All Mine by Kanye West, which got 5,000 views. And then after that, I kind of went on just like a vlogging and gaming spree where I posted a ton of big gaming and vlogs kind of videos. But then you can see two months ago, I posted cooler than a bitch lyrics from Gunna featuring Roddy Rich, and that has 51 views now. So I was like, oh, I guess people are starting to enjoy the lyrics again from me. So a couple more videos go by and I posted staccato lyrics by Tory Lanez. That did okay. It's got 30 views up to this point. And then after that, I was like, hmm, let me try to become a lyrics channel only. So within one day, I posted three lyrics videos, which was pop star lyrics, rip and running and stunting on you. With those videos, I expected, you know, yeah, I, I just figured I would, you know, take a time to play around and experiment with what you guys like. So I posted those three in a day and Pop star didn't do too well. It's only got 20 views up to this point. Rip and running, however, started to really open my eyes to the lyric game because this video now has 159 views. And I was like, oh, that's cool. And then stunting on you only has 13, but that's okay. Then you go up a few more videos. I talked about me being an artist on Spotify. I streamed a little bit of PUBG, played some Minecraft, dropped my song, Nevermind, which now has 28 views. Thank you if you did check out that song. Um, I'll talk more about that in a minute couple more videos go by I played some games on the computer played some games on the ps4 and then I dropped daydream lyrics by NLE Choppa that video from this point was three days ago and it got 113 views so I was like damn this song is actually starting to catch people's attention and bring them into my channel so I posted WAP lyrics last Saturday and that now has 300 views so I said damn that's cool so let me keep going and I posted murder talk by NLE Choppa as well that video in a day has 184 views. So I was like, shit, let's try another one. And then I may have pushed it, pushed it just a little bit too much. Not really. I figured I would just keep you guys updated with all the best lyrics. And I posted Top Shot of Flow by NLE. And that only has 11 views in a day. So I figured after I seen that, I got a little bit of views going from the lyrics videos. And I decided I don't want to put too much lyric videos or too many lyric videos in a row because then at that point you guys may think oh well if I'm a gaming supporter and he's only posting lyrics I'm gonna leave or if you come here to see like reaction videos or vlogs then you're gonna see all only lyrics and you're probably gonna leave so I kind of want to keep it fresh for everybody I noticed that my lyric videos are doing the best and they're the only ones hitting like high amount of views but I still wanted to keep it a variety channel because I know that some of you guys subscribed when I was doing gaming like Fortnite and these like computer games like horror games and Minecraft and shit like that. But then I also noticed that when it comes to reaction videos, some people like that, like my first reacting to old videos got a decent amount of views. So I took that inspiration to upload reacting to my old videos part two and that video got four views in the last hour. But I can't complain because it's only been an hour and not that many people stay tuned to my videos. And by that, I mean my subscriber to view ratio is quite harsh. So anyways, back to what I was saying, I posted a few lyrics videos, they did pretty well, but I didn't want to beat it. I didn't want to beat it up because if I kept doing lyrics videos, the gaming and reacting and other supporters would leave. But if I keep doing gaming, no matter how fun it might be, then the people for lyrics and reaction videos might leave. And then also, of course, if I'm trying to do like, reaction and shit like that if people don't like the reacting videos then they will quit watching so i'm always trying to keep variety going and if you stumbled across this video i i pretty much do it all i go from gaming to reaction to lyrics and all the crazy shit like that 
I don't remember back then years ago, I did, I posted intro templates to my channel and you can still go down way down below and click on those. And basically that's basically what my channel is about. I got variety. So not just variety in games and stuff like that, but I got variety in all types of content. But let's bring attention to games for just a minute. Recently, I have posted a few gaming videos. I took this time, this break within a week to do gaming videos. And one, the one day I posted the how to win to Realm Royale. Um, I wanted to show people how to win that game. I know it's a very underspoken topic on YouTube uh, for Realm Royale. So I decided the few Realm Royale fans out there will um, click on that video and want to learn how to win every time. And I guess my assumptions were kind of right, kind of wrong. They did a good amount of views and, you know, I got pretty good support on that video for the first couple days. And then I guess the only amount of uh, Realm Royale fans were about 14 people. They came in quickly watch the video and now that's pretty much done. And then the next day I wanted to take more of a horror game route and I made the video about a Northern Hymn. And most people like that, it got 12 views, not bad, but still I kind of wanted to see if you guys wanted to see more horror games. I wasn't really sure. Do you want me to stick with like Battle Royale tutorials? Do you want me to stick to Minecraft or should I continue doing horror games? So then what I did was I uploaded the video called Fred Bear and Friends Left to Rot Observatory Walkthrough Playthrough Whatever the Fuck Part 1 and I played the first room to that game Five Nights at Freddy's Left to Rot. The, the Fred Bear and Friends video basically got 19 views now in a few days so I'm, I noticed that some people kind of like the Realm Royale video, a little less people seen the Northern Hymn walkthrough and then a couple more people kind of came in and seen the Five Nights at Freddy's game. So I thought that is where I was going to take my gaming and just kind of mix up the games because I know most of you, I know a lot of people on YouTube like horror games. Even more people kind of like the battle royale topic. And then I noticed that some people kind of like Minecraft and PUBG and shit like that. So I decided to kind of mix it all up and do all of them. With that being said, I will put my Spotify link in the description because I did release the Nevermind on my channel a week ago and if you do click on my profile you will see that I've dropped Living Freely as well and both of those are great songs I think you would like it and you should definitely check it out if you're a hip-hop fan along with that my live streams will keep coming I do enjoy live streaming you can see in the past I've done the you know the Fortnite live streams you skip ahead a little I've done I did the two PUBG streams a couple weeks ago so yes for those of you guys that come in watch the live streams enjoy the live streams I will keep doing them. Don't worry. We have Hyperscape just got released for PS4. I plan on making videos about that game and live streams. So stay tuned, subscribe, and you will get a little bit in on that action. So the bopping PUBG with the boy, that was just a random ass title I decided to do. It was actually told to me by my brother and I posted that video two weeks ago and that got 33 views. So that kind of made me motivated to do more live streams because I know the longer videos on my channel do better and the live streams, people kind of just like them more. And I've always noticed in the past that I do the live stream, a few people watch, and then when it's published and processed, more and more people kind of flood in and watch it. So that made me do the help. Can you help me get 4K watch hours? Of, of course, if you've seen that and you're, you know, you are a quick to watch viewer, you know, that wasn't the original title. At first, I think it was playing PUBG with another man or whatever the fuck. It was just another random ass title. Kind of had some comedy to it, but you get the point. Then I decided to change the title because I decided I really want to hit the goal of 4,000 watch hours. That would be great. If you guys can help me get 4,000 watch hours, that would be great because then that would up my revenue and I could actually start getting paid for YouTube. And don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to ask for money. I'm honestly just saying that if you wanted, then we could do that and we can actually put the money into our videos and make things better, such as buying more games for the channel, buying products to do and test on the channel and, you know, just doing shit like that. You know, I can do more stuff with the gaming, buy more games. I can go more places for vlogs. That's another reason. If you've seen my video, I believe, which one was it? I think it was my song. No, 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 no. Did I even drop that video? Real quick, I just want to say I made a mistake and the video I'm talking about here was the my song got released to the wrong profile. I made this video talking about my channel and just talking about Spotify and shit like that. So if you want to go check it out, 
that's the video. Sorry for the confusion. I do not think I dropped that video, but if I did, there was one of my videos that I either did or did not upload where I mentioned I'm not going to be vlogging anymore. The main reason for that was because I can't really go anywhere, you know, even if I did, I don't really have crazy money to just, you know, throw out, throw out the window and go buy stuff for the channel. So I figured vlogs wouldn't take that big of an impact on this channel anymore now that I don't have as crazy things to do. So that's pretty much where I cut off vlogs. But another thing is, if you do want me to do the vlogs, what would I do? So go down below and comment what vlogs I should do because I noticed that when I cut off the vlogs, my views kind of stayed the same. Some went up because more people enjoy the gaming videos and other types of content instead of vlogs. Another thing is I just feel like vlogs are super overrated on YouTube. So I didn't want to be like a part of the, I didn't want to just hop on the bandwagon and make dumb vlogs. So I decided to switch it up and start doing gaming and lyrics and shit like that. With all that being said, Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, go down below and drop a like. All you have to do really is just swipe up, click that like button, and things will be done. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I am out.